welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello my name is michelle welcome to my channel if you could please hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification button right next to it so you can be notified every time i upload a new video it has been a while since i have done a video like this i just received the package from none other than pixie beauty y'all this is so cute if you guys follow me on instagram you guys saw the unboxing and like what's in it and stuff but look at how cute i love like pink and green it's just so super cute they sent over some stencils they sent over four of their palettes these are the palettes right here it's two eyeshadow palettes and two uh, bronzer blush and highlight palettes so we are gonna dig into some of these I guess, I don't know, I thought I was already off of their PR. I received the package, I believe it was like last year or the beginning of this year, and then I just hadn't received anything from them. But now we got this, so we are gonna play with these today on this video. My eyebrows are ready. I have these two palettes right here. This one is the Hazelnut Eye, and this one is the Rosette at Rosette Ray. It has more of a pinkish hue to it. It's super, super cute, look at that. And then the hazel eye the hazelnut eye has these beautiful beautiful brown shades in there look at how pretty oh my gosh so i'm gonna actually go in for i don't know i love them both so much i think i'm gonna do this one just because i think i oh my god i don't even know what i'm gonna choose i think i'm gonna go for the rosette eye From right to left i believe we have a french rose ice glow wine mocha which is this middle one plum berry mushroom and black tulip so the palettes have the names of the shadows behind them as you guys can see so we're actually going to be using the i if the ifx rosette ray for today and i love that it comes with a mirror you guys know if my my eyeshadows don't come with a mirror i just don't use them as much as a matter if i like paid hundreds and hundreds of dollars for it if it does not come with a mirror i don't use it call me crazy that's just me prime my eyes with a little bit of this nyx nyx born to glow concealer i actually got this i got this for free from influencer and i will leave the link down below but i do have a video of, i do have a video coming out for you guys soon so you guys could know how i get free products so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with my esponjita right here. All prepped and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into, as I said before, the Rosette Ray palette. And I'm gonna get this pinkish color here, which I believe is called French Rose. So this one I'm actually gonna use as my transition color. And as I said before, the mirror is perfect for on the go and everything. So I'm just actually gonna put that as my transition color. So just put that baby right above the crease now going into the crease shade i want to go for this color right here which this one's called berry it's super super cute so i think i'm gonna go ahead and use that one as my my crease With the help of a little bit of concealer and this little tool, I'm going to go ahead and just clean up my lid so I could have a smooth surface so I could put the shimmer on. Out, and you should have a nice outline. You could put more or less concealer or to do the outline and then I go in with a and then I go in with a brush and I pick some of that concealer up and I just go ahead and trace out the line. Now to kind of set it pretty much, I'm going to go ahead and take some of this middle one, which is called Ice. Is that on where I put the concealer before it sets? Because this concealer, what I like about it is that it sets super, super fast. But what I also don't like about it is that it does set super, super fast. So you do have to work pretty quickly with it. I'm going to take this one right here, which I believe is called Glow. With the same brush, just go in. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap, 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 tap all over. We have that done to the eyes. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this middle color right here, which is Mushroom. This one right here, it's a nice brown shadow. And I'm actually going to just put that, not all the way to the outer outer corner, but like from the middle to the, from the middle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pat it in. 
where you where that line is that that concealer line when it or it finishes that's where i'm gonna pat it in see we're gonna now we're going to actually take this color which i believe is called wine we're gonna take that color and we're gonna just add it right at on this area right here and then just right on that area and i'm just gonna go very 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 lightly in outer circles just like that now that we have that done i'm gonna go ahead and focus on the outer corner now i'm gonna use this brown shade which is called black tulip and that's gonna go all on the outer corner and i'm gonna just drive it in blend i'm gonna blend the black tulip shade with the wine shade and the mushroom shade so i'm just gonna take some on a fluffy brush and then i'm just gonna place it right on the outer corner like this and i'm just gonna circular motions very very soft circular motions inward see that this is what we have so far so far i am loving this little palette you guys i'm gonna actually go ahead and do my face so foundation concealer and i'm gonna put a little bit of um, yellow powder under my eyes and i will be back so you could put some contour bronzer blush and highlight okay i am back my face is done i put some powder on i put some concealer now it's time to use these babies right here i have the honey nectar and i have the sugar blossom so we're gonna see right now which one is the one that i'm gonna use um i actually really really like both of them but obviously we can only use one this one right here is the honey nectar and this one right here is the sugar blossom I'm gonna go ahead and take this one right here and we said this one was rosewood so i'm just gonna take it on a fluffy brush and i go ahead and put that on oh my gosh it's so pretty <gasps> look at how pretty that is you know what i think we're just gonna use this and not so much blush Ooh, that is super, super pretty. So I'm just going to put a very, very little amount because ya vi que it goes, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Oh, that is super pretty. But I am also going to put a little bit of contour because you guys know my face is fat. So I'm going to put a little bit of contour before I finish off everything else. Okay, so I put a little bit of contour on and not too, too much, but I'm going to go ahead and put this, uh, the same shade on my forehead and all over my nose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over my forehead, my nose, because Miss Nikki Tutorial said to do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try that out. And then we'll go from there. With that going, I'm gonna go ahead and take this pink shade right here, which is called Blossom. I'm gonna take my little blush brush and I'm just gonna put that not on the not directly on the apples of the cheeks, but a little bit further. So this is the apple of my cheek, as you can see. But since my face is big, I don't want to concentrate any more like in the center. I'm gonna actually put it right here on this side upward to tap this in. So I'm just gonna tap, 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 tap. Tap it in, tap it in, tap it in, put it up on my temples. Just like this, this color is beautiful. You guys, this color is beautiful. Look at that. And you see how like my face looks a little bit more lifted. If you have a big face like me, definitely stay away from having any product, like any blush at least, right in the middle of your face because it's gonna make it look way, way, way bigger, in my opinion. So as you can see right here, I haven't put any product, but here it just looks lifted. You see that? Blush is on, bronzer is on. Look at how pretty that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and take the highlight now. I think I want to go for petal. Just taking a fluffy brush, nothing too, too fancy. I'm gonna head on and go into this shade right here, the excess. And I'm actually just going to place this right here. So right here and up. Gonna blend it out ever so slightly and you see that it's a beautiful subtle little sheen and there's nothing here and there's like a nice subtle sheen to it right here now on the nose i'm gonna take the same exact highlight and i'm gonna put it just on the tip and on the bridge of the nose i'm, on, I'm gonna also put it right here on the cupid's bow 
So right here, and I'm also going to put it up here on the brow bone. Into our eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna go ahead and take this color right here, which we said was color berry, and a little bit of the color wine, and I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna look up. To take a little bit of this shade right here and I'm gonna put that right in the inner corner I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara lashes and some eyeliner my lips and then I will be back to finish this off <laughs> and there you have it you guys eyelashes for lashes, I use the Anel Beauty Cosmetics in Style Coqueta. For my lips, I use my go-to BH Cosmetics, which was the BH Cosmetics Nude Lip 28, 28 color lipstick. And I used this bottom right, this bottom left corner to outline. And then I used the Beauty Bakery um, Lip Whip in Mocha for the lips. What do you guys think? I actually, I absolutely love this look. I love, love the palettes, how they, how easy they were to blend out. It's just super, super cute. I totally 100% recommend. I really, really like them. I really opened up the little package of the stencils and they're kind of stuck together. So I will probably put, I don't know, there's like some, some, um, there's some butterflies. There's some little plantitas one that says pixie 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 and then some like some dandelions and they have like a sticky back so maybe i will use this one the next time and i was actually when i opened them i was like oh my gosh i could actually i would have been able to use like either a dandelion the temple where the um where the highlighter goes but i mean this is what i got number for the eyes i use i did use the rosette uh, rosette ray eyeshadow palette and for the face I use the sugar blossom face palette these two so cute I, I, I I'm pretty sure the other two are just as amazing I do want to give a huge shout out to pixie thank you so much for sending me these goodies if you guys like this video don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up follow me on instagram facebook snapchat twitter tiktok all that good stuff I will leave all that down in the description box below I hope you guys like this video thank you guys so much for being here today I will see you guys in my next one bye